Hello friends, you are on the Gradient channel. Today we will talk about how to choose a welding inverter, what functions are really needed in the device and what you should definitely pay attention to. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's go! And of course, friends, on our website, gradientua.com, you will find an assortment of torches and torch accessories, welded protection products and many other items. The link is in the description. Let's start with the welding current range. This is the basic parameter when choosing an inverter. Your welding current determines the type, frequency and volume of welding work. For example, if the tasks are of a more domestic nature, namely, you need to periodically carry out repair work at home, weld fittings, shaped pipes and make simple structures, a device with a maximum current of 160 amperes that will work with a 3 mm electrode will be enough. If you need to use the device more intensively and work with metal structures of larger sizes and thicknesses, as well as weld with a 4 and 5 mm electrode, we recommend choosing a device with a the voltage of 200 amperes or more. The lower value of the welding current is also important. After all, sometimes you have to weld on small metal thicknesses. The table will help you decide. Another important parameter of the inverter is the switch on time, or in other words, the duty cycle. This parameter means how long out of 10 minutes the machine will operate at the maximum welding current. For example, if the duty cycle of the machine is 40%, then out of 10 minutes of operation at maximum current, the machine will operate for 4 minutes and cool down for 6 minutes. Usually, few people work at the maximum current and even without stopping. So don't worry, the machine's 40% efficiency is more than enough. Modern inverters have several functions that make life easier for the welder. Among them are hot start, anti-stick electrode, arc boost and VRD function. Let's find out what these functions do for you. The hot start function. When the arc starts, the machine automatically increases the current for a split second, which instantly ignites the electrode and ignites the arc. If this function is not available in the device, novice welders may have problems with arc ignition. Arc force function or arc afterburner If the arc goes out during welding, the arc force function automatically delivers additional pulses of current to allow the welder to work without accidentally cutting the arc. Anti-stick function or anti-stick electrode. Sometimes the electrode sticks to the metal and a short circuit occurs. It is almost impossible to detach the electrode from the workpiece at this point. The anti-stick function is activated in this case and reduces the current to a minimum. You can then easily detach the electrode from the workpiece and continue working. The current will automatically return to its original value. In addition, the VRD function is an equally useful feature. This function lowers the voltage during the machine's idle time when the machine is switched on but no welding is taking place. The function reduces the voltage to safe values for the welder, namely 1217 volts. In this case, any touching of the electrode by the operator has no consequences for the welder. It allows the welding process to continue immediately. On some machines, the VRD function can be deactivated if necessary. In addition to the technical characteristics, it is also important to consider the ergonomics, convenience and reliability of the inverter itself and its operation. When choosing a device, pay attention to the following parameters. The shape and weight of the inverter. These indicators will be relevant during prolonged work in the workshop and during installation or high-altitude work. The presence of a digital display and the ability to conveniently change the main welding parameters will be a great advantage for the device. After all, it is important to accurately set the current strength and conveniently adjust certain functions. In addition, the equipment of the machine is very important. It is imperative to have a high-quality electrode holder and grounding terminal for use with this particular inverter. And of course, there should be detailed instructions for use and a manufacturer's warranty. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Subscribe to our channel and other social networks. See you soon.